a status of OK. And then you want to allow FTP access. You go services, FTP. Click on the little button saying enable. Default port, number of clients, maximum connections per IP. Time out, how many times until it times out. If you want, just for basically around the house, if you've got a lot of users, like more than just you, you can just click allow anonymous users. But if you're connecting it to, say, the internet and you don't want people getting your files, I wouldn't click that. You can only allow authorized users, which they have logons. I'm just going to allow anonymous users for now. And you go down to the bottom. You can select different different options to keep files so they're allowed to resume downloads and uploads. Um, you can set encryption, which I'm not going to do at the moment. And just go save and reset down the bottom. The server's meant to restart, so I'm just going to reboot it myself. Click System Reboot, yes. It's rebooting, which I can see because I got it in a virtual box. Spin. Done. Okay, so we'll just make sure it's working properly. Your system. Yep, it loaded properly. Your status system, and it tells you your disk usage. Okay, now you go into my computer and type FT, FT, P. Type your IP address. I've already done it because I was testing it today. Type your IP address like that enter and then it will come up with the drive name you can go into that and you can upload stuff into the FTP server what have I got here good enough just copy paste Now it's sending it up onto the server with the FTP protocol.
and then it's on the server so now if I go into the web interface and I refresh the page it tells me 1% of the drive is used and that's the end of this video I'll cover how to set it up how to set up FTP users in a later tutorial